Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christiana or Triple T and if you're new here, welcome. So today we're heading to the dumpsters as always. We are headed to Bed Bath & Beyond, Bath & Body Works and a few others along the way. So stick around and let's save the world one dumpster at a time. Ulta dumpster. Ooh, a hair dryer. All right, I'm gonna grab, I think that is a soup box. Yes, it is. And I'm gonna grab that hair dryer and whatever else I can find in here. So I'm gonna clean it all up and show you what I got at the end of this video. Party City dumpster. It looks pretty empty today. Huh. Oh, it's broken in half. Yeah, nothing today, but hey, that's all right, because usually I find too much stuff in this dumpster. So good, no waste. CVS dumpster. I think I saw a rat, and I think I'm gonna freak out. So let's check. Yep, I definitely saw a rat. So I don't think I'm gonna go dig through this, because no thanks. No, oh, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. All right. I'd rather not be bitten and get rabies. So that's that. On to the next. Bed, Bath & Beyond dumpster. I am beyond excited because this one is always locked now. And I'm hoping there's some good stuff in here. So I got to sift through it. I think I'll be able to find some stuff. Just not at first glance. I'm going to have to see what I can get, and you guys will see it at the end of the reveal after I sift through everything here. The past few times I've been here, if it was open, it was completely empty, so super stoked. All right, let's see what I got at the end of the video. Bath and Body Works dumpster. I think this is a box of candles. Yep, sounds like it. What else? Oh, this is heavy. Ooh. Yep, a box of goodies. <gasps> yes. I think that is one more thing. Yep, it is. Oh goodness, that's a huge bag. We have been doing great at Bath & Body Works these days. Score, we'll see you guys at the reveal with all of those. This is what we got at the Bed Bath & Beyond dumpster. We got a bunch of stuff. So we got this salad bowl from B. Ezra T. So it says it is a fruit bowl. It is a pretty large bowl. I'm sure you could use it for anything you would like. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful dining room set. There is four plates, four dessert plates, four bowls, and four mugs. Gorgeous. I looked up the price and it was $100. Nothing in the set was broken. So I don't really know why they threw it out, but... Here it is, and I was able to save it from the landfill, so I am beyond thrilled because it is a gorgeous, gorgeous set. Then we got this pan for the oven. It is dented over here. I tried straightening it out. I even stood on it. <laughs> but honestly, if you wrap it with some foil and put your food on it, it is still perfectly fine. So this is our table, 9 by 13. Then we have this little fabric zippered container. I don't know what it's for really. Maybe some linens. I'm sure I could use that for our linens. Then we got a bunch of towels. So we have two hand towels, one bath towel, a see-through curtain by this brand. We have this pillowcase. It's like a um, body pillow for when you're pregnant. That's the case for it. We have two of these curtain rods and we have a pepper grinder with pepper in it. I did not test it to see if it works, but honestly, it probably does. And then we have this Lennox beautiful wooden set. So it is a salad bowl with servers 
and it looks like that on the inside. It is gorgeous, and I looked up the price, and it was 75 bucks, which is amazing. And finally, we have this Home Medics air purifier. They did not cut the cord, which is beautiful. And I also picked up this thing because I thought if I found a different item that needs it, I can always just use this cord. So pretty great score from the Bed Bath & Beyond dumpster. This is what I got at the Five Below dumpster. I didn't get footage of it, but I wanted to show you the reveal anyway. I got five of these plastic snap flooring, which looks super cool. I'm wondering how big it would actually be since I have five of them. And if I could make like an outdoor like she shed and use it as a floor for um, part of the shed that I would build. So I don't know, maybe. And then we have a Fruity Pebbles white chocolate candy snowman and a cherry jello and a strawberry jello. I love jello, so those are fantastic. And then we have five of these gummy candy body parts. They look really interesting. Not sure if I would eat them. I'm also not a gummy candy person. For some reason, if I have even one piece of gummy candy, I will have a cavity the next day. So <laughs> I will donate all of that and pretty good score from the five below dumpster. This is what I got at the Bath and Body Works dumpster. It was a pretty fantastic score. I am so in love with these two little foxes on the end. How cute are they? One is missing the pumpkin because one's holding the pumpkin right there and the other one does not have it. But they are so stinking adorable. Love those little guys. There's also a little Christmas tree over there and a snowman missing his nose, but that's all right. <laughs> then we got all these goodies. Oh my goodness. We have four candles that are three wick and one one wick candle. This one is in Merry Cookie. That's Hello Autumn. Mahogany Balsam, which smells amazing. This one is Pure Wonder and Falling Flurries. Then we have a bunch of soap. We have Winter Peach Marshmallow. We have some body lotion, champagne toast, and champagne toast shower gel. We've got Dark Kiss body cream, Cozy Sunday Morning body cream, three warm vanilla sugars, two A Thousand Wishes moisturizing body washes, two A Thousand Wishes body creams, three Pure Wonder body creams, and a rose body cream. We also have a Japanese Cherry Blossom Foaming Hand Soap. We have this cute butterfly uh, wallflower, not wallflower, what is this? Car scent thing that you stick in the car and put it on your vent. Then we have a ton of wallflowers. We have sandalwood vanilla, sun-drenched linen, mahogany coconut, deep blue sea, lavender vanilla, eucalyptus mint, and an unknown one. We also have a pair of Bath & Body Works gloves, which I didn't know they sold, <laughs> and a wallflower where you can control the scent, high, medium, and low. Pretty fantastic score from Bath & Body Works. This is what I got at the Ulta dumpster. My, oh my, what a huge, huge score. Those soup boxes really look like soup and gross, but you can save so much from the landfill. And I am so stoked. You don't even know how much money I used to spend at Ulta and Sephora because I love, love, love makeup. I even had a makeup channel on YouTube <laughs> when I was younger when I really didn't know much about makeup, but... Now I can actually do my makeup where I'm even contemplating doing my own makeup for my wedding, but I'm not sure. I think maybe I should be pampered on that day, <laughs> but I'm so stoked. You don't even know at all of this fantastic makeup. All right, so let's dive right into this. Okay, so first thing we have Duke Cannon Bloody Knuckles. That is like a heavy duty hand cream. Then we have a Hug Me Best Deodorant Ever Bloom. 
so I'm not sure if it actually is the best deodorant ever, but it does claim it. <laughs> then we have Dionys, which is, I believe, a foot cream. Then we have three of these Avene lines. There is the Physio Lift, a Oxidative, and a smaller Physio Lift. They are a little gross looking, but it's because there was foundation all over the box. All right, then we have pretty much the entire Tarte line of like their, I don't know what kind of collection this is, maybe Amazonian clay collection, not exactly sure, but we have a bunch of their Tarte found sealers. We have Tarte powder where it says kind is the new pretty. We have Tarte Amazonian clay blushes. We've got Tarte face tape, two of them, Tarte clay stick concealers, one mini Tarte shape tape, which I hear is phenomenal. We've got a bunch of these regular creaseless concealers. Then we have two of the Maracuja tinted hydrator foundations and a bunch of highlighters. One is gouged over there, but that is still all right to use. Then we have the Maneater line, two of the mascaras, one eyeliner, and one lash glue liner, which is so cool. I'm excited to try that one out. Then we have this Vita Body Blur. I think that is a type of cream bronzer. Then we have Belief. I think it's a eye cream. We have another type of eye cream by Tula, we have a NARS Radiance Primer, which looks super nice. We've got Volumizing Extreme Lip Booster by Catrice. We have a whole pack of lashes, which is fantastic. Then we have a Clinique Concealer. Not sure if I'm going to use it because it is a brush and it's opened, but I'm gonna try and sanitize it the best I can. Then we have these three pencil products. We have the NYX lip liner, an Urban Decay eyeliner, and a MAC eyeliner. Those are easy to sanitize. You just sharpen them down and then spray it with some alcohol. Then we have this MAC Studio Fix Powder, which is super exciting. Brand new also as well. Love it, oh my gosh. Then we have these two MAC bullets. The lipstick inside is not there. They did break it off, but I know if you have, I think it's either eight or 10 MAC products and containers, you can bring it back to the Mac store and they'll give you a brand new item. So I do keep those together and trade them in and recycle them to get a brand new product. Then we have this Moon Floss, which is interesting. We've got two Beekman, I believe it says, milk products, a milk wash and milk foam. We've got four of these nail files. We have three of these Duke Cannon Cold Shower Cooling Field Towels. This Benefit Brow Pencil. It doesn't have the crayon in it, but it has the spoolie at the end, so that is great too. We've got a hair clip, a pair of shears for hair cutting, some L'Occitane hand cream. We've got some Chill Mode eye patches from Patchology. They were cut on the top, so I put them in a Ziploc bag so it stays fresh. Then we have more Patchologies, one hand warming mask and one foot warming mask, which sounds so fantastic. I can't wait to try those. We have a Baby Bliss hair dryer. I'm so excited to try that too. They did cut the cord, but I will put that back together. Then we have a ton of perfumes. We've got Philosophy Grace, which is in a travel size and a small regular size. We've got Ralph Lauren Romance. We've got Fresh Life in a travel size. We have a Gucci perfume. And we have a Clinique product over there. I think it's an acne uh, solution. Then we have a ton of these NYX pigments. They are beautiful and brand new and full. So those are amazing. So many of those. 
We have a ton of the Derma Blend line. So we have five of those body foundations and one of the CC Continuous Correction Cream and a Derma Blend product down there as well. I think it's just some um, cover up in a tub. We have a Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And last but not least, over here is another Avene product. I think it is a face spray or a hair product, not sure. And then we have these two Duke Cannon Thick Body Gels. They are in Naval Diplomacy. Honestly, this thing, this one was poured out all over one of the boxes and my oh my did it smell divine. So if you can find that at your local Ulta, it would even be worth purchasing. They were $10, so it's a little pricey, but my gosh, they smelled amazing. <laughs> anyway, this was a fantastic score from the Ulta dumpster. I cannot believe how much waste there is and how much money this all costs. It's really mind-boggling. Anyway, I'm glad I saved it from the landfill. Oh.